Today at Brown Dog Gadgets, we're building a sound wall. For this project, we'll need a Crazy Circuits invention board, a Lego plate, some flat Legos, Crazy Circuit screw terminals, an MP3 playback board, 1 8 inch maker tape, male-female jumper wires, USB power and programming cable for the invention board, and conductive paint. We'll also need a small micro SD card to store the audio files. We'll stencil shapes on the wall with the conductive paint and take advantage of the capacitive touch inputs on the invention board. First, let's build our board. Lay down a few pieces of Lego and plan the location of the invention board and the screw terminals. This lets us know where to lay down conductive tape to complete the circuits. We'll connect the screw terminals to pins 9 and 10 and the 5 volt and ground terminals. We'll connect the male end of the jumper wires to the screw terminals. The other end plugs into the MP3 board. Load your sound files onto the micro SD card. Simply plug the card into your computer and copy the appropriately named files. Then, plug the micro SD card back into the MP3 playback board. Power up the invention board by plugging it into your computer with the USB cord, and plug the MP3 board into some powered speakers. On your computer, open the Arduino sketch for the project and upload it to the invention board. Since everything is together, this is a good time to plug in the speakers and just test the project out. We made some stencils by cutting shapes out of paper on our Silhouette Cameo cutter. You could use self-adhesive vinyl for really professional results, or simply hand cut some paper stencils. Measure and mark your wall space so that the stencils are evenly spaced, all at the same height, and level. Then, paint in the stencils with the conductive paint, being especially careful near the edges of the stencils. After they've dried a bit, carefully remove the stencils. We cut a piece of acrylic to hold the invention board and soundboard together, and mounted the soundboard down with some small standoffs, and the invention board with double-sided mounting tape. For convenience, we put Velcro on the back to mount the project to the wall. After that, we'll run conductive tape on the wall from the invention board to each of our conductive wall stencils. Be careful with the conductive paint as it does smear easily. Power up the project and test it out. You may find you accidentally assigned the wrong audio file to a particular shape, or that you might want to adjust the code. You can put a little more paint over the end of the maker tape to hide it. You might want to do any other paint touch-up at this time as well. After all the paint is dry, apply a clear coat. This will prevent damp hands from ever smearing the black conductive paint in the future. You now have a fully functional sound wall. With a few tweaks to the code, you can even make it non-contact. If you ever want to change the sounds, just pop out the micro SD card and load some new ones. What shapes and sounds will you use in your project? Let us know! We hope you loved this video. Please share, like, and subscribe. Check out more great projects at browndoggadgets.com.